Giant Sea Bass today is a great California conservation story. My name is Kevin Lewan and I'm a collector here at the aquarium. The reason why I like Giant Sea Bass is because they are really gentle giants. In the wild and also too here in the aquarium, you basically put their hand underneath their chin and they won't move. The problem with that is they can be speared because they're just sitting there and they're a big fish so you can annihilate the entire population. The laws that were enacted, one was in 82 which banned sport and commercial and then in 1994 they also banned gill nettings. You want to know if those laws are helping the species. So the big thing that we're trying to do really is to have a full life history of this fish. Our largest giant sea bass that we have came in in 1994. It's 220 pounds, it's over five feet and we estimate the age, give or take, around 30 years old. We do have a, a baby giant sea bass here, and we got that probably a little more than a month old. If we can grow those little babies to a size similar to these size, then we can actually have a full life history of this fish. Hopefully this will give us some insight to how long it takes for them to become a sexually mature fish, which will help fish and wildlife implement their laws. I work at the aquarium because I believe in the conservation stories of the fisheries. If we can display fish that have a good conservation story like giant sea bass, we're also helping our future generations know that these fish need to be protected. And the recent data over the last five years is really showing that the actual numbers are increasing. I think show, showcasing these fish is a great story for conservation.